Hello and welcome back to another video. It is finally here, anniversary. It is some stuff that is problem with some diamond stuff, so I need to take this recording now before the servers uh, shut down. But anyway, here is the update. The anniversary celebration, it starts. And we have been waiting for this for almost 13 months, so we could finally take this recording. Uh, that is just the same as it always is, and that is the new hero that is Abing. Claim diamonds, new map in Fiend Slayers. This is really good for a lot of endgame players. I hope that they can get a lot of progress coming up soon. That can really push their towers. And a new hero that is the Sura Warrior. I'm guessing that is um, a strength hero for normal heroes. You can usually get those from you can't get those from any dungeons or anything like that but you can get them normally from other things from keys and just buying them from the dragon ivan who shop sign in rewards really really good we can be starting to see some of those uh, things triple goods we'll be talking more about that and all of these and let us just go into the server i'll be going onto this one and see what you can do as a free, normal free-to-play player that hasn't really saved anything up okay let me log in and see what you can see from this screen look at this screen there is kasumi and there we have obing i will be downloading this image right here and we can see it properly now let us go into all of these things that we need to be talking about first it is triple goods this one, going into all of the shops, you can get a lot of extra resources, on average 12.5% extra resources, which is really really good, but you can also get really lucky and get even more, or incredibly unlucky and get almost nothing. Wish on stars, we will be talking more about that one as we get into it. This one we will be looking into, because I'm not really sure what it is during the event. New stages will be unlocked one by one. Are you ready for a challenge? Yes, we are ready for a challenge. Flip for fun. Let us see what you can get from some cards. Sign in rewards. This is really good. I'm waiting to see how good the avatar frame will look like. I really like this image. Crystal wish to spin the wheel and get win some rewards. Top of bonus for people that spend and the limit of VIP XP that can be rewarded with diamonds is 50,000. That's $5,000, people are crazy. Value packs, Echo Shop to get the new Goblin Mage skin. We're really hyped about that. And some more loot from stuff like Rift, Hellgate, Dungeon, Statue of Heroes. This is really good because it doubles all of the extra rewards. Like the Pinnacle Stones and Heaven Essence, Guild Trials, League of Explorers, and Crystal Wasteland stuff. Now let me go in to see the the sign in rewards. We start off with 10 keys, that is pretty good. And it goes up 500 diamonds, 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 even more keys. So you can get 20 keys for free during the this event. Then we have some more diamonds, spins. A lot more diamonds and look at this i like this avatar frame they really i like this one i like the sixth number here dungeon and heroes is doing pretty well this year now let me go into wish on stars this one you can see you can spin this wheel for free let us just do that and see what we can get it is one of 12 the um, things but bonuses that you can get this one was increases the drops from Rift by 150% and you can get that three times. Let me just cancel this one and look at the info. This one just tells you that you can spin this for free once a day and then you can reroll it for 250 diamonds and do stuff like that. And here you can see the different uh, blessings. The first one, the essence one, it's not really that useful unless you are incredibly high VIP, but it's not really that useful anyway. It can be nice, but it's not really anything big. Rift one, like that is some extra books or stuff like that. One of the better ones, but it's still, you don't even save a day of progress with it. 
this one is really annoying because yes it is nice but it turns your if you have 480 and then it takes by 20% and you are left with an odd number that you can't really get from smith shops or are forced to get it from the uh, the runes of miracle shop and it's just not really worth it because you should spend that on mika it is, uh, i don't really like this one at all and it is only useful the second week. Hellgate stuff, like Hellgate is pretty useless uh, as it is. This one is pretty nice if you can get it during the keys, as you can get some extra keys. Like you can get 10, you can save 10 keys from this one. It is not really anything special, but it can help if you get a lot of them. This one is the same for spins, but this one can take effect six times. So it is on Mars that you can save. Magic crystals, it's 70% chance to give you one extra. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dungeon Smash, this one is the one of the best ones because you can use this one on uh, a hero of your choice to get a, a lot more fragments for that hero. This one, I jumped over that one with a good reason. Reduces the diamond in refreshing Dragon Eye Shop by 100%. You don't do this anyway unless you have more than 250k Dragon Eyes. Well, you will be spending a lot of keys, so you'll be getting a lot of them. But anyways, if you want to use this one, you can, but it's not really anything I suggest doing unless you know what you're doing. This one, absolutely the worst one because you won't be use you should not be using any maps at all for this entire event because it is not on the map event. This one, incredibly useless. This one, Flame Dragon, pretty useful, but eventually you get way too much gold anyway. This one is the most important one. And it is very rare. You can spin this wheel go over and over and spin it and you can see how rare it can actually be this one is the gold key one i will be accepting that but anyway this one grants a 12 percent chance to quadruple goods when you make a purchase in jade shop normally it is an eight percent chance to triple so that is basically pretty normal and you can get lucky or you can get unlucky but with the Wish on Stars, you are way more likely to actually get the proc, 4% more, and you are, are, well, that is 50% more likely because the normal one was 8%, so you're 50% more likely to actually get it, and when you get it, it is 4x instead of 3x. So it is just way better on every single way, but it can cost a lot of diamonds to get it. Last year on this account I spent around 30-40 thousand diamonds, I did not get it. You should not be pushing for that with a lot of diamonds unless you have the jade worth it to go for it. I would suggest not spending 10, 000, more than 10,000 diamonds on this unless you have at least like 6, 8, 9, 10,000 diamonds, not jade at least. Now moving on for flip for fun. Starting game. This one is completely new. I've never seen this before. After starting the game, click any card on the left to flip it. You may check the current round rewards in reward preview. That is probably this one. The next one costs some diamonds. Reward multiplier 100%. When you flip an item card, you will receive an additional reward based on the multiplier. If you flip multiplier cards in succession, the multiplier stack. Okay, let us just start the game. Oh, we don't have any stuff to use. <laughs> but we have diamonds. Come on. Garbage. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's happening. Ah, oh, you get this. Yeah, I see, I see. That is how you get it. Oh, and wait, you need to spend 50 gold keys every day. This one is pretty easy, that one is just spending, you don't really do that. That is more spending, that is spins, what the hell, this is weird. Okay, so you can basically get two of these every single day. Mirth match, what is this? This is the Goblin Mage skin, 
Look at that, that looks sick! Nice! Uh, click one unobstructed item to place it in the slot below. I don't know what it is, but we'll be checking that out. When three identical items are in the slot, they will be cleared out and you will earn points, okay? Reach the goal to complete the stage. Three identical items inside a slot. Let us just play and see what happens. Wait, oh, I... Oh, wait, so that is this. Okay, that is pretty cool. Let us do these uh, eggplants. Let me do... Let me, let me just try to be thinking smart about this. Let us try and unlock... Potato, not tomato, tomato. This one should be tomato as well. Let me just do that. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, strawberry, strawberry. We need to try and be smart with this one. I don't know what that is, but we can start and try to find this out. The thing that you don't want to do is make mistakes. Okay, so... Hmm. I want the carrots. <laughs> eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. I want to open up as many as possible, but I do want, in case I do make mistakes, to have these as a backup. But I don't really have that many choices right now. That was a mistake, I think. I think we made a grave mistake. Well, we can do this, this, and this. Now we can do this, and this. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Lettuce, we can start and go for that one. Let me just pick up these right here. There is one lettuce down here, but let me do this and this. Yeah. Now it is starting to get hard. We have four slots left. We need that one. Yes, that opens up. Yeah. Now we can get that, that, that. I think we just fucked up. No, we didn't. And now we can do this. Yeah. I really want that lettuce to get this off the board. Do that. Yeah. Now we can do... Hmm. Oh. Yeah. That looks good. Let me... Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, now I need to do that, 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 that. Oh, that was stupid. Hmm, what do we do now? Does this open up? Yes, that uh, open up that. This is fun, we've never had that in this game before. No, that is not going to work. We need an extra carrot, an extra two of these, or an extra this one. I think we are fucked. <laughs> No, we're not. One, two. Oh no, that was not okay. Oh, that was so clutch. Yeah, we're getting this. Now, let me just get this one. Yeah, and this. We do not want to be picking up the ones that doesn't give anything behind them. There we go. Do 
got the carrots. Now we need a tomato down here. Now we can pick those ones up. To pick these two strawberries right here. Now we're really cleaning this up. These two, these two, these three, and we got all of them. We got all of them. That is so nice. Oh, it opens up in another day. Let me just see what the rewards are. Oh, you can do this 10 times. I like this one. That was pretty fun. No, for this one, this is the big wheel. This is the Kasumi skin. Okay, so this uh, spins right here. You get those from doing the event itself. That is for doing the keys and the spins. And that allows you to spin this little wheel. When you get this one, the Crystal of Fate, it will be randomly chosen as one of these rewards. It is like a one in a million chance to get one of these quadrants before you have the rest of the board filled. You can get it, but let us not talk about the chances for that. For the rewards itself, it is a lot of diamonds, as you can see right here. A lot of keys, as you can see right here. 20 workers, that is pretty nice. These legendary jam bags, that is also pretty nice. These ones are pretty much the weakest ones of them all, I think, for me. And then we have the maps, that is the best reward that you can get from this one. Other than the rewards themselves, the Kasumi skin, this one, you would be picking, oh, is it three of them? That is so many iron hooks. <laughs> this one is just these level up materials and some jade. In the echo shop, you will be able to pick up the uh, goblin mage skin. We will be doing that. And after you do that, you will be spending the rest of them into diamonds. Now, let me go wish pack. This is the stuff for spenders. You can get these for spending like that. And this one is better value than that one, but you can only buy it three times in each week. This one, you can also buy three times each week, but that is such good rewards. This one, let me go over and see what the skin does. This one looks pretty good. Grants extra 150 diamonds when you claim the final chest of daily task. Let me open up a calculator and see how many diamonds a year that is. 150 times... Fifty thousand diamonds a year. It's nice, but it is not one of the better diamond skins. One of the better diamond mounts. But look at how cute that looks, though. The mount itself is pretty weak, but it is some extra diamonds that you can spend. It that is pretty nice. Top of bonus. This one just gets you a lot of extra diamonds when you spend a lot of money, which a lot of people will be doing. We will not be doing that, but a lot of people will. Now, let me go into the mail. We can see what we can be getting. This one, weekly login rewards, three keys. This one will give you two of these every single day. That is for 14 days. That is 28 of these for free, not doing anything. This one. Oh, some diamonds. That is pretty nice. Update compensation, more diamonds. And that's about it. Looks pretty good. Now, here are, we can see the triple rewards. When you purchase, you have an 8% chance to triple that purchase. Let me just buy some stuff from here so that we can see it. It can be pretty nice sometimes and other times it can be pretty bad. You don't have any control of what item is actually tri mm, tripled and it can be any of them. That one was tripled, as you can see, it was 3,000 magic books. In here, you can also triple th uh, things. And when that happens, it shows up pretty funny. Let me just find up so it sees. I have enough diamonds on this account to do that. 
that you can see that is pretty nice as well you will be spending a lot of your diamonds on this event it also works in this shop right here it's like if we spend this on like spend 50 49,000 let me just spend 50 more 750k I don't know if that was yeah that's not a triple that was a triple look at that pool god that 100,000 and 100,000 more the hunter shop this one also can be tripled as you can um, hopefully see Dragon event, this will also um, be tripled, but you do not want to touch this shop because you want to be saving this to do 250,000 dragon eyes in those in the uh, respective event so that you can get 500 jade plus all of the extra jade from the event itself. This one can also be tripled, that would be really nice if you tripled this. And let us do the keys as well. Not happening. This one is really good if it triples, but you want to be picking up this uh, gem bag right here. Hopefully, you can get that, but I don't have enough on this account. And I just spent it on that. This one, this one also triple. Hopefully, you get some uh, extra on uh, the good stuff. The miracle shop i will have so much fun tomorrow when we do the anniversary stream and we can see if we can actually get some good stuff from that but this account i don't really have anything built up and the last Mount shop and skin shop is not tripled, of course, because you can only get one of them. Now, what I will be doing is I will be spending 600 keys. Let me just pick up a... No, I don't need a calculator for that. And you can be able to see from the... This is the legendary bonus, by the way. Whenever you get a hero, you'll be able to get that set. And if you change the wish hero, this set here will be changed as well. So if you spend 6,000 diamonds on changing the wish hero to be int, you will be getting an int set. This one just gets you some free diamonds if you get him up to a certain point. Very nice. Don't really talk about that. <laughs> Yes, the new hero right here is available from using keys. You can also see whenever each 100 that you spend, you will be able to get four of these crystal wishes. Four, eight, 12. 24 of these each round. We will be doing some uh, 600 on this account. We have 3,600 that we'll be able to use on another account. And there you saw we got the five key pulls. And we got a few new, we got a hero, knew it. Let me go into the Crystal Wish again, Wish on Stars. Oh, it can happen two times. There you see the new hero is also in keys itself. A lot of good hero parts there. Let me just... Turn the audio a bit down. There we got the final keys. Now we can go back in here, wish on stars and do this one. I have a lot of diamonds on this account, won't really be playing this one much. So we can actually see how expensive it can be. We will be cancelling that. We'll be cancelling that, but we also can do some stuff in there. We have one round. I don't really know what to do. 
to 200. Hey. I have no idea what is happening. Okay. What the hell is that? What elemental core? What the crap? One map. Not terrible. <laughs> what is just happening? I just spent a fuck ton of diamonds and didn't get anything. <laughs> what? I am so confused. But let us just go. We want this bonus right here. No. This can take a lot of diamonds. No. No, I said. Gold keys, we'll be accepting that. Five back already. And there's another five back. I guess if you have a lot of diamonds, this is a way that you can be... Uh, <laughs> Saving a lot of gold keys. Well, technically that is 50 keys a day that you can be saving. So if you do have a lot of diamonds, you can actually get a lot of progress here. Let me do the calculator again. So you can get an extra 350 gold keys for free from just using this. Is that worth the diamonds? I'm not sure. But it gets you a lot of progress into getting this one. This might actually be pretty good if you're missing some uh, rounds. I might be doing that on my main account because I am very close to uh, 7 rounds of keys. My diamonds is going incredibly quickly here. Okay, so I am on a time limit and I've already spent the 10,000 diamonds. I'm on a time limit because of the update that will be coming soon. But let us just finish off the keys that we have. We won't be getting two rounds anyway. We just got an opening fragment, that is pretty good. Another one. On the main account, we will be going hard into him and hopefully getting him up to 13 star. 
That would be the goal and that would be amazing to get to see. Another one. I should have around 200 keys almost, 190 I think. We get lucky. Will we get lucky or will we be getting unlucky on this one as well? This account I'm usually very unlucky on. No, we got average. We just got unlucky on the proc amount. And the other heroes, <laughs> which is 1 in 100, we should be getting 6. We got very lucky because we just got a 2 proc. Looks good. I hope we can get the same luck on uh, the man account when we do 3600 keys. Or even 4000. Now let us go in and see how many we are missing currently. Four rounds. That should be enough. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> Let us claim this. I need to talk about this new hero as well, as I haven't seen him before. I love this sound effect. Now let me go into here and look at the new hero. Is he physical attack? And he is... Agility. Okay, look at that. He looks pretty sick as well. Okay, let us start with the active as we normally do. Azuri Cross Slash. Deal some damage to the normal attack target and the enemies behind. Cross Slash damage is increased by 1% for every 1% health the normal attack target loses. Okay, so that sounds very similar to Anduin, except that the more damage you do, the more damage he will be doing. So this one sounds very good if the other skills make him do a lot of damage. This one might be actually very good for stuff like... Expedition when the boss doesn't have a lot of HP left. Usually, when they don't have that much HP left, they are usually dead already. So I don't know if he can be used for bosses, but I'm just talking about what he might be doing. Next one, the battle skill, Hellfire Lotus. Deals some damage to the normal attack target and inflicts the Hellfire Lotus for 8 seconds. The target with the Hellfire Lotus loses 1% health for every 200 energy gained up to his agility. Okay, so it is basically Sanctified Judgment from Athena. This one is incredibly powerful. That uh, Sanctified Judgment is incredibly powerful and it is one of her biggest strengths when it comes to single target damage. If you hit an enemy boss, 
the boss will be getting energy and that energy will be hurting that boss. It is the same for mobs, it is the same for PvP. It is one of the reasons why Athena is one of the strongest PvP heroes in the game. Not just the shields, but because of her sheer single target damage when it comes to Sanctified Judgment. Asura Warrior seems to be having the similar thing, but it is to one enemy. Athena can be hitting both due to having her double attack. Another command skill, when he battles begin, he increases his and all his allies attack by some for 12 seconds. I, that sounds pretty good, but it is a just attack bonus, not int or strength or not pre. So it is like a nice bonus. It lasts a long time though. The passive skill increases agility. Whenever performing a normal attack or taking one hit damage, a Sura warrior gains a 3% attack bonus. This effect can stack up to 15 times and can't be dispelled. 3%. Let me just pick up the cap. Now that is 45%. 45% attack bonus. He seems to be needing credit chance, I guess. Unless. No, it is. Increases attack by 5% and speed by 3% for every 5% health a Suru Warrior loses. So he gets speed bonus when he loses his HP. But usually he will be always be full HP due to having a lot of help from stuff like Luo. And this one. Whenever performing a normal attack and casting a skill or taking one into damage. 5% attack bonus. That is a hundred percent attack bonus. But his uh, active skill doesn't get really that bonus from attack itself, so that is just an increase for his normal attack. So I'm not sure if he needs credit chance the most or skill crit chance the most. This one is skill crit damage. But he can be hitting 100% uh, pedi with uh, Kasumi. That is pretty useful to know. But I don't really understand if he can be coming very good itself. But it is his agility. So we can see what he can be able to do. But if he was strength, he could be very useful. Because I think he might be more helpful than Gladiator for strength run. Because we're missing his strength run damage dealer if you don't do Anduin or um, Singifen. Or Athena for that sake. Because Athena isn't good enough. Now let me go into here and get him up. We won't be getting him up as much as we will on the other accounts. Eight hundred fragments we got from one round of keys. That's not bad. Now let us go into here on the Foxfire Fortune. We have 26 of these. Let me just spin this and see what happens. I need to have my headphones on because I need to hear this sound effect. They reused the same sound effect from last year, I think. From the last years, but we will be seeing when we get to spin this one. We got the lucky one, and now this one will spin the big wheel. Yeah, that is the same sound effect, and it's such disgusting. Let us see what we can get. Can we get diamonds, keys, keys, maps, diamonds, brokers? 7,000 diamonds, okay. Every two rounds that you do this, the cost will be going up, so next time it will be 8. Can we get more? I don't think so. Nope, we will not be getting another reward, but we will be doing a lot of progress on the other account when I do the live stream. Is there anything that I'm currently missing? Let me go into here. We did the triple goods one, which on stars. This one, this one I like really much. 
This one, I have no idea what is going on with that one. That just seems like a big waste of diamonds and doesn't really give you anything back. Like, I just spent like 5,000 diamonds on that or something. And what did I get back? 300. I have no idea what is happening. Yeah, I got one map and one elemental core. And what did that cost? Like, way too much. I have no idea what is happening with Flip for Fun. And it is not fun, and it is just way too expensive for me to really think about. But let me just spin uh, 100. I know that this is a waste, but I'm just doing this for the video. How many did I need again? 100. Six more. This is such a big waste though. That was 10 runs, I think. Yeah. Three spins, 200 diamonds, 300%, 400 diamonds. I think there is an update coming to this one because this one just sounds like the worst game they've ever released, which is... What the fuck is this? Yeah, you just spent like 5,000 diamonds. What should you get from it? 500,000 uh, gold. You could get that in one hit on Dragon. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Yeah, I, we don't really talk about that. Let me go into the Echo Shop. One round of keys, that gave us 24 of these. So you should be able to get this one with, I think, two rounds of keys and two or three rounds of spins should be able to get you the skin. Let us also look at the skins before we go. Let us start with the Goblin Mage skin. Skill crit damage, that is pretty good. What happens if you get a skin? You become a hunchback. <laughs> I don't know if I like that skin that much. I don't know. <laughs> you become a hunchback if you get a skin. It looks pretty cool though, it looks more like a goblin than anything else. Skill crit damage, that is pretty good though. Let me see what Kasumi gives. Agility. What? <laughs> they were really interested. <laughs> they did so much with that skin. <laughs> Sometimes less is more, but if you want to make an anniversary skin that people have to spend like 400, 500 dollars on. Maybe to a little bit more than less. Because sometimes less is not more. <laughs> That's so dumb. I don't I like the original one more. Actually. I like the original one more. Yeah. 
I don't know what to think about that skin. I would not spend the seven, seven, four hundred, five hundred dollars on that one, like some people would. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. And also, let me claim all of these. We got one, two, three, four, five. That's insane. And if you open them keys, do not click the claim all button because it will completely screw you over with your equipment. Yeah. And it will fill up incredibly fast. Let me see what we got. Oh, being two on this account. Yeah, it's tough. Not too bad. I'm curious because it says that you can get more from this one. Let me spend some diamonds here. Did it say that you get 50% more from that? League of Explorers? I wonder how that works. Still one one. I need to check if this one actually gives you two or not. Hellgate gives more loot. It says 80k there and get a lot in more. Rift, more loot. That is pretty nice. I have so many. Let me just use up like... Twenty of them. So much loot, and the big part is the big part that is in here where you can get some more stuff from Dungeon Smashes. Fifty percent loot here means that you get more fragments for your heroes. What does this one say? Food for fun. Let us waste some even more diamonds on this one, I guess. 16 J. Wow. Nine keys got Woohoo! Did they design this for the players or did they design this one to just screw people over? I am pretty sure that it is the last one. I've already used so many diamonds on that one for no real gain at all. Is there anything new in the shops? No. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I need to edit and get this video out to everyone. And see you again tomorrow, hopefully.